right, we're going to be watching Cobalt Pond. Uh, this is Silver 4 playing Ash on Esperanza. Not sure how to improve on Ash. Low silver DPS. Hello, I was wondering if anyone could take a look at a recent loss I had. I think it was fairly close, and I, there were, must be things I could have done better to turn things around. However, I'm not quite sure what I could have done differently other than being a bit more aware of the enemy Bastion. Um, so I haven't done an Ash video in a while, so I thought this was a good opportunity. And I've already done a pre-watch of this. Your issues are not really Ash specific. I think that they're related to just general kind of like FPS fundamentals, but we'll walk through them as we go. So for starters, I would say use your coach gun a lot more. You basically don't use your coach gun at all in this game. I think that you probably use it once a minute or so, but it is a 10 second cooldown. So you can use it a lot more often than that to reposition. So for example, when you start spawn, just coach gun and get forwards. Cause the sooner you get up here, the sooner that you can get in position, and then you can get over here, right, or over here, and then you can shoot people as they come up, right? Getting there faster will basically never hurt you. You want to get there as soon as you possibly can. So you just notice you're just going to walk it instead of coach gunning. You should be coach gunning right now, right? Do a 180, right, coach gun, and then move forward and keep going. All right, going forwards. Now at this point, you can go from here and then you can coach gun right up top, right? Walk over here, look down, jump, coach gun, and then you can get up to here. I don't think you even need to jump. Uh, and then you can play up top. That way you're already ready to play on high ground. So that's kind of number two here. Number three, all right, we're here. Your goal is to kind of hold this area over there. You want to do as much damage as you possibly can. So let's look for opportunities. You kind of see that there's a Hanzo. You throw a dynamite. Now, one thing that you do is that you stand still a lot. And I understand when you're throwing dynamite. Ideally, I would say don't, th don't stand still even when throwing dynamite. But at least for now, I don't think that's your biggest issue. So we'll accept that. But I'm just noting that if you stand still at higher levels, you will die. There's a Bastion here. The thing is, Bastion actually does really poor damage at long range uh, because he has a large scatter of his gun. So you can out-duel him at this range, just playing from here, playing cover, and poking him down. You're like too afraid to fight the Bastion. See right now? You should be fighting, but you're not. And this is a really important concept I want to drill into you is uptime. Uptime is how often you are doing things to help your team win. How long, how often you are shooting them, blowing things up, right? Etc. like jockeying for position. Those are all part of uptime. Your uptime is really poor. So watching up here, let's think of all the things that you do to help your team win the fight. You haven't done anything yet, right? Notice that we're, we're here, you're looking, you haven't done anything, still haven't done anything, still haven't done anything, still haven't done anything. Okay, you popped one dynamite, which I think you hit just, just the, the Bastion, which is, okay, I, I would have liked a deeper throw because you saw where the enemy team was, but that's fine. So you did one thing so far to help your team win. Still haven't doing anything, still not doing anything, still not doing anything, still not doing anything. There you, you have your second shot. So you've been here for like 15 seconds. You did two things here. You threw one dynamite into the Bastion and you, saw, you shot the, the Ramatra once. So, so far you've done like 125 damage maybe. That's like nothing <laughs> for perspective, right? It, for if, if I was playing Ash here, I would have already gone up. I would have shot the Bastion. I would have rotated over here. I would have shot. All right, let me, let's play it out in real time. So this is the activity level. By the way, you could have gone there sooner with Coach Gun as well. But from here, right? I would go. I'd strafe to the left right now, and I would I would take this fight, right? I mean, like at some point you gotta take fights. I know there's I know there's a Sonic here, but your whole team is here. Like your Diva's here as well. Like you could even peek from behind them to make it really unlikely you're gonna get shot. Uh, you gotta take fights at some point, right? Like shot, 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 shot. So I already fired like what, like eight eight plus bullets right now. You've only fired two. Um, and, and the dynamite, you know what I mean? Like you gotta be hammering in at them with damage. That's the way you win games. So right now, look, you look, hey, is the Hanzo here? Fine. Do I wanna deal the Hanzo? Maybe not, right? So just switch to the left, kill other targets. Like kill the Bastion right now, kill the Mercy, right? The Baptiste soon, just put damage on the Ramatra. The Hanzo's way too far away to kill him, right? Even if you hit a headshot on this Hanzo, he just hides around the corner and you'll never kill him. So just focus on the people who are stuck in the open over here, right? I would just take this angle and shoot them. Or if you don't feel comfortable with that, drop here and take this angle and coach gun back up if you if you need to. But you need to be putting a lot of damage down on this team. Now, notice you're throwing a dynamite at the Hanzo instead of the four targets right here. You blow up a dynamite here, that's like, what, 500 plus damage right here? That's crazy. That's a fight winning dynamite if you just blow the dynamite right now. Like even without aim, if you just blow the dynamite on four people, you can virtually guarantee to win this fight. Instead, you're obsessed with trying to kill the Hanzo. And what's even worse, you're gonna stand still right now while throwing this. See, you're going to stand still, you're going to throw this. Now, why is this relevant? Let's look at it from the Bastion's perspective. See how you're just standing still? See how long you're standing still? At higher ranks, you're dead. 100% dead. There's no possible world where you're going to survive standing in the open, standing still like this. It's a really, really bad habit to have. 
Um, so if you're going to stand still, make sure you're standing still, like to, to blow up a dynamite, make sure you're standing still where you can't be seen, right? Here, no good. Here is okay, right? Here, no good. Here, okay, right? Again, around the corner, that's something to think about. So Bastion's come back out, and then you pretty much haven't been doing anything. Your supports are also ignoring you, and then you're going to step out wide here, and you're going to die. So this is another common habit that you have, is that you step way too far out. In order to shoot the enemy team, I do not need to stand here. I just need to stand here. See? Over here, all I can see all four enemies, but they all four of them can see me. But I can only shoot one at a time anyway, so why am I going this far out? So if I'm worried about taking damage, like I am right now with half health, I only want to peek this much. Just enough that I can see one enemy, right? Preferably not the tank, and shoot that enemy. Versus peeking out so wide. You see how far away you are from cover? You get lit up, and you try going back, but because you're too far away from cover, you die. This is like really basic like FPS fundamentals that I think you, you still need to learn and pick up, which is playing safe, playing closer to cover, right? And taking cover when you're taking damage. All right, your next life coming back out. So again, notice that you're just standing still. I don't really know why you're throwing a dynamite right now. Also, the throw is off. I think you're trying to hit the Baptiste. Just save it, right? The Baptiste is really far away. Like he's behind cover. I would try to take this space up here, right? Go out the windows, come over here, coach gun your way up top, take this space, and now you're in a much better position to do something. From this far away, you can't do anything. You get lit up. Sonic goes off. Yep, you rotate. This is good, right? I like this rotation, right? You see the Hanzo? He sees you. You dodge right away, which is good, right? By the way, you should reload all the time. Uh, Ash has individual shell reloading, so there's never a reason to not be reloading because you can interrupt at any, any moment. So, like, this is just bad ammo management. So, this Mercy should be dead. One, two, three... And this is where, if you're playing TPS, aim is going to be something you got to get better at, right? This Mercy should be dead. So she's, like, way out in the open. This is a fairly easy shot. She's not even trying to dodge, right? You've already missed two easy ones, right? This is an easy one right here, this, right? The third shot misses. She should be dead, right? Discorded there. This is an easy kill. Um, at higher ranks, you'll be expected to kill her in that situation. I would say 90% plus of the time. That's about as easy a kill as you're going to get. This... Uh, almost a good dynamite. I think that it is a little short. Yeah. So you see that it pops right here, and the Bastion doesn't get hit. If you waited another quarter second for it to go a little bit further and popped it here, a fight-winning dynamite. Like, you can win fights as, as, as Ash, just literally just hitting dynamites. Like, good dynamites will, will win you games. So right here, we're going to see how your aim has a still an issue. You're going to miss the lamp here. <laughs> Um, which tells me that there are fundamental issues with your aim. Like, you should never miss a stationary target. It just... It, I can't sugarcoat this any other way, but if you're going to play DPS and you want to climb, you have to be able to hit shots. I don't personally coach aim. It is incredibly difficult to coach aim. There's lots of guides and videos out there on there. There are aim trainers, etc. that you can work on, but I'm telling you, if you cannot hit a lamp, a stationary lamp, you will not be able to climb much further on Ash. Alright, so from here... Um, once again, we notice that your general animal management is bad. So, for example, 12, 11, 10, 9. Okay, you should be reloading right now because you looked away. Now we look again. All right, you pop dynamite. You're not, you're, you're covering right now. Reload, 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 reload. I would already be back to 12 right now, right? Hit these shots. You're covering again. Reload, 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 right? I should be backed up to like 8 ammo right now. Baptiste is at, way out of position. So right now. The Baptiste is discorded, he's far from cover, he's standing in the open, that's what happened to you before and he died, and you died, remember? This Baptiste needs to die right now. It's going to be one scope shot followed by a body shot and he dies, just from you, assuming nobody else shoots him. Instead, you don't shoot any bullets, right? So he comes out, right? You're just reloading, you're just staring at him. And this is another thing that I've kind of identified. You are having a lot of trouble with the pace of play in Overwatch, right? You have no general sense of urgency. Like, everything is very casual with you. You're like, oh, I can reload if I want to or not. I can shoot when I want to or not. I can take cover if I want to or not. And that's that's holding you back, all right? If you're saying, okay, how, how do I improve? Just be more active, right? Hey, see a target, shoot a target. <laughs> like, that probably seems so obvious, but you're not doing it. You know what I mean? Like, this Baptiste comes out right here, right? Or you should be reloading right now, right? Be more active. This Baptiste comes out to shoot him. Just shoot him. Like, why aren't you shooting him? Now it's way too late, and now you're shooting. And now you see all these people grouped up. If you had dynamite, again, game-winning dynamite. Fight-winning dynamite right here. Coalescence gets popped. You got to reload. You got to reload. You got to reload. You're not reloading. You're still not reloading. Reload, 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 reload. See? It's, like, so long. Despite the fact that you have two ammo, right? Then 
you miss this dynamite, which is rough, right? You pop it, but it ends up being not a great dynamite, because again, I think you're only hitting one person. You really should be looking for multi-hits on these dynamites. Oh, you get to the, you get to the Bastion at least. Um, okay, Bastion's now in recon form. You should push aggressively, right? Push, get kills, right? Fight, 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 fight. Right? So I think you're covering from your own Diva Bomb, so you have to recognize like sound cues when uh, ultimates for your team versus ultimates from the opposing team have different voice lines. The historical way that you check this was that alts in English, assuming you're in, playing on an English version of the game, alts that are in English are friendly ultimates, and alts that are in foreign languages, like let's say Japanese, are in uh, are enemy ultimates. That doesn't work for all heroes, because obviously some heroes do English voice lines for both ways, but there is a noticeable difference between what the voice lines sound like, and you can actually Google them online or look on YouTube for what the voice lines sound like. You should have known right away, this diva bomb is not your team's, not the enemy's diva bomb, right? This is your team's diva bomb. So instead of covering right now, you should go with this, swing with this, and keep trying to kill him. You see how everyone's running away from the diva bomb? This is a mistake, right? You should just swing and kill him. Did your diva kill him? She did, right? But that won't always happen. So, Hansel's still alive. You recognize, you hear where the Hanzo is, I can already tell from audio that I know exactly where he is. You should coach gun sideways and kill him quickly, because you don't want to run the risk that he's going to kill any of your teammates and then help even up this fight, right? Sense of urgency, try to go faster, everything faster, 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 right? Try to do more. So you're setting up here, you just completely waste this dynamite. Again, dynamite is a long cooldown, is what, like four, 12 seconds? 12 seconds, right? 12 second dynamite, also you miss it, but like, even if it was on target, it's not going to do anything. Wait until they're actually clustered here, and clumped up, and then throw the dynamite and then pop it. So, that's a good dynamite, right? Kill the Mercy right away. You hit the Mercy of the dynamite, so it's only going to take two shots here to kill the Mercy. That's shot number one, right? I want to see you take a shot right away, right here, right here, right here, right here, right? You missed that shot, okay? You're looking for her, you're looking for her, you're looking for her. Right, okay, tracking, okay, good, right? Good shot, right? Looking, looking for the finish. Can you finish? Can you finish? Right, miss, and then you and then you kind of give up right now. Except this is the bash ultimate's coming, but it's actually short, so I can already tell right now that's in front of me. So just get the kill, and then now you decide to turn away. So obviously everything's gonna look bad in slow mo, but let's watch it in real time too. So Mercy's gonna come out, pop. So you see how slowly you shoot. Right? This is the correct rate of fire to be shooting, all right? So I'll, I'll do it for you all, audio, right? One, two, or actually it's even faster than that, right? So pop, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? I would've gotten six shots on this Mercy. Like whether or not I hit them all is a different story, right? But I would've gotten six attempts at least to kill this Mercy. I only need to hit two of them. So only 33% accuracy, but you're too slow about the aiming process. And it's tough when you're gonna play an aim reliant hero as Ash, okay? Again, I, you know, I'm not telling you not to play Ash or anything like that. I'm just pointing out, like, if you're like, hey, what's the gap between me and better Ashes? A better Ash is just constantly hammering that Mercy. Hits or not, just keep firing, 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 right? Trying to land those shots. So, Bastion ulti's over. Once again, you see that you just stand still so much. See? Look. See you're standing still right now? Like, standing still, standing still, standing still. I, again, at higher levels, you just die. You're going to die all the time, and you're going to be shocked at how fast you will die. So you're going to throw this dynamite, which is a pretty reasonable dynamite. It takes you way too long to line this up. Again, just chuck it. Just right now. Just like, hey, look up, chuck. Instead, you see you stop. You line up like, like you're firing an artillery shell or something. right? Then you throw it. Then you miss the dynamite because you get spooked by the damage. And also, note the Mercy's flying on your screen, and she's still low. She's still low from before, and your Diva's shooting her. Just shoot the Mercy right now. Just shoot the Mercy. Just shoot the Mercy. You shoot the Mercy. The fight's won. So you missed the dynamite um, because you didn't, you didn't blow it up. Now you use Bob, but the problem is, who's still alive here, right? There's you, there's a low half Moira, right? And your D.Va who's just lost mech, which means this is effectively a five on three. There's almost no way to win this fight. <laughs> the Bob is gonna happen to kill two, I think here, as I recall. Something like that. And then you're gonna get the Mega, you're gonna rotate behind them. I don't think there's a reason to be playing here. I, I think you could just gotten the Mega and come back. But I also could have just looked for where my mortar was and gone and gotten the heal. So Ramatra has killed your Moira. You're popping dynamite on just the even if you popped it right there, it's just on the tank. Now you're caught way out of position and everyone's gonna hunt you down and kill you. This is not the correct way to retreat, right? Again, you need to retreat like upwards and then away. Or 
or this way and away. You're retreating towards the enemy team. This is going deeper into their side of the map, which means that you're not going to be able to get any support from here. Manage to regroup your Zen. Right? So you're going for the Ramacha right now, but which is a mistake. The Ramacha still has way too much help. Just kill the soldier. You can hear the soldier right here. Like, if you just throw dynamite, again, stop throwing dynamites at, at solo targets in general, unless it's a squishy that you're going to kill, and especially don't solo dynamite tanks. I think that's a huge mistake almost always. Imagine a dynamite right here, right? Dynamite right here, one body shot, one scope, or one scope shot, one uh, unscope shot, and they just die and just fall over dead. <laughs> and then the fight is won. Like, you have to figure out, how do I get kills here? You're not getting kills. There's no final blows happening here, which is really, really important, right? Pretty much all your final blows so far are from, your, from Bob. Okay, so this is a situation where this is actually a huge possible clutch moment. So you can throw Dynamite down right now and just kill the Baptiste, for example. You could have hypothetically dropped behind them. That's like a really risky move, but a potentially big move. But you're not doing any of the things here, right? You see how slowly you're playing? So you go over here, right? You're full ammo. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? You're not doing anything. You're not doing anything. You're still standing here, right? You got to be quicker. You got to be like, okay, what am I going to do? Where am I going to do it? How, where, who am I going to shoot? Right? And just start just start shooting right away, right? Huge dynamite, big dynamite, right? This is three, four people with dynamite. So right now your focus should be kill the Mercy, kill the soldier, kill Bastion, right? And look for the Baptiste. Alright, go for the Mercy. Alright, good hit. Yep, she dies. Right? Look, who's next? You get stuck. Right? But the thing is, are you gonna be able to get out of this? Probably not, because there's still four people here. So instead of trying to retreat here, just Chill and re-peek, right? Look for the Baptiste, who you can hear on the left, and try to pick him off with, along with your Sombra, right? This is a, a big mistake. <laughs> yeah, just being more active, like, will we'll win you so many more games. All right, great. Ramacha's dead. Made, definitely made some mistakes here. You want to push up? Okay. So, you're way too reliant on Dynamite. Right? Your first thought always is, I'm going to chuck dynamite. But the problem is you're chucking dynamite in between two people, right? and you barely hit the mercy instead of just straight up killing the mercy right now. Again, think about breakpoints. Killing mercy, killing 200 health heroes, is two scope shots right? followed by two body shots. So you can do scope, scope, body, body, like that. Or uh, unscope, unscope, right? because the, the latter two shots come out really, really fast, which is a combo that you should practice. And I would suggest you play Deathmatch, too, and just get used to killing people quickly, right? You kill a Mercy, great. That's like the first, like, kind of legit kill that you've gotten that's not using Bob. All right, you shoot the Zen. This is a great example of, of the aim issues that you have. So Zen, you're going to hit him with this body shot, which is great. And then the Zen is going to dodge to the right, and you're going to horribly over-aim, right? This is way off. Right? And then you have to recalibrate. My guess is, like many players, your sensitivity is probably way too high. But just noting that. So you're going to miss three, four, five. Right? You finally get a body shot. Oh, you got another body shot. So out of seven shots, you hit two against a Zen in the open field. So I would say at GM, this is like 95% accuracy. Right? You're obviously not GM. But if we say, let's say platinum, I think this is like probably something like 60% accuracy. So I don't think you're, I think you're still probably half as accurate as you need to be for, for plat, for perspective. Once again, you're throwing dynamite at a solo tank instead of just throwing dynamite down here. For example, if you pop dynamite on the soldier, you could just kill him. Or even through uh, harmony, you could kill him easily. Or throw at the Zen, for example. You got a lot of options here. Zen stuck in the open, this should be the easiest kill of your life. Alright, kill the Zen. Excellent. You hear the soldier, look for the soldier, look for the soldier, look for the soldier. Like you hear him, immediately straight up to the right, because I can hear and tell based on sound. Alright? If you don't if you've never played uh, first person shooters before, you can use your audio cues to tell you exactly where people are. So when someone is, for example, on your right, you're gonna hear it be louder in your right ear than you will in your left ear. And I'll keep turning to the right until the sound level of the target is the same, balanced, between my left ear and my right ear. And that tells me exactly where they are. So again, if I'm standing here, right, and let's say the soldier's running around behind me, right, I stand here, I hear something soldier on my right, I start scanning quickly to my right, I hear it getting, right, louder, 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 and then as soon as I hit here, right, I notice that the sound level is balanced in both ears. Because if I turn to the right, 
it's louder in my left than it is in my right. And this is a very instinctive thing that comes with a lot of hours of play, but I'm telling you this so that you can think about it because that's how you track people through walls. I can tell where somebody is almost exactly, like almost exactly, exactly, like if you gave me a gun that could shoot through walls, I could shoot them through a wall because I can hear the differences between the left ear and the right ear and tell where they are right away. That's how I knew where the soldier was shooting that I had to strafe out here to shoot him. I knew he wasn't going to be underneath here because of how loud it was in the right ear. So, died, or, uh, Bastion's going to waste ultimate. So you're going to shoot him right now. It's funny because based on how successful the Bastion's been so far, I think it would actually would have been reasonable to pop Bob right here. He's damage boosted. He's got a reasonable cover. Your team doesn't have a really good way to deal with him unless Somber Hawks hacks him right away. I think popping Bob here would have been very reasonable. Just at this level. At high level, that would not have been necessary, but at this level, I feel like the Bastion's going to kill everyone, which is exactly what's happening here. So he popped mech, and he killed D.Va, which is unfortunate. But, you know, kind of is what it is. So this uh, ultimate goes off. You could have, or rather, res goes off. You could have thought about popping Bob there. I understand. It would take him too long to interrupt it, probably. Great, great shots in the Bastion. Excellent. Right, now, now you know the Mercy is stuck there, for the record. I would throw Dynamite here and pop the Dynamite right here and see if I can kill her. So you know you're down a tank. The Ramash is going to walk in, and he's going to kill two, which is really unfortunate. But... Part of this is because you're just not paying attention, right? As soon as you kill this, decide what you want to do about the Mercy. You want to try to kill her? Yes, try to kill her, right? Throw the diamond, try to kill her. Otherwise, look to the left because you can hear the Ramatra coming in. So for right now, if you just pop Bob and run it through the Ramatra, probably wins this fight as an option. But even then, right? Again, throwing Soul Dynamite on a tank, not a really good call. You could still potentially win this fight by throwing Bob out here. I think that is actually very reasonable that Bob could win this fight, especially if you feel comfortable. Now, focus supports. Focus supports. All right. All right, Bob's out there. So I want to reload and I want to drop low right now and I want to look for targets. All right, get aggressive, get aggressive. Yeah, 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 go, 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 go. All right, soldier's right here. Great, that's fine. So you're going to coach gun him, which is okay. Then you throw dynamite, which you miss, but then you're going to stare at this instead of doing anything else valuable, right? For example, shooting the Baptiste over here, right? You're trying to shoot over the shoulder, shooting the Ramatra. The soldier's not going to walk in the dynamite, obviously, right? Like he sees the dynamite and he hears it. He's not going to walk into it. You're going to walk up right now, which is a mistake. At this point, the fight is stabilized. You don't have a window to kill anyone. You need to back up, right? You need to back way up right now to give yourself any chance. Or you just need to die on point. But I don't think you're thinking of either one of those things. All right, regardless, your team has the lead. So winnable situation. Um, one thing that comes with practice with Ash is knowing exactly how high you can go. I believe this is not enough distance unless you were very, very close. I think maybe if you were like point blank under it, you could have gotten enough height. Or maybe if you jump. Did you jump? I don't think you jumped. I think jumping gives you a little bit extra height. I don't play Ash enough. Yeah, I don't think you jumped. I think you just I think you just coach gun. Jumping might give you the extra little bit to get on top, but either way you could have gotten to here. Regardless, um, actually the best place to fight would be these windows right now. Alright, you're gonna walk in, you're gonna damage the bash in the back. And this is a good example where it's like, look, if you're gonna do this, just kill the bastion, right? Pop the dynamite and just try to kill him. You have so much time here, but instead you just kind of give up, right? Now you walk up, you walk straight up into the Bastion instead of, for example, playing... If you're going to take this fight, take the fight from here. That way, from his perspective, you're mostly obscured. You see right now, like, 95% of your body is covered. It's very hard for him to kill you right now. But you can still hit him perfectly fine because you have such a precise gun. But instead, you walk forwards into him, resulting in you dying. So, this is, uh, it's no good. <laughs> This kind of stuff is uh, what costs you games. All right, I'm gonna stop there in the interest of time. Hopefully this is helpful in terms of thinking through like the different mechanics and behavioral changes that you need to do in order to keep improving.